guys too. Uh, I wanted to get back to you about about Dano though, yeah, because yeah. so because we have a common friend. Like I have a friend of mine, Paul. He was a very Paulie big, Pigeon. Uh, yes, Paulie Pigeon. <laughs> ah. like, exactly. I haven't again. heard or seen that in, in years. I haven't. I'll probably give him a call today. Tell him I was yeah. I was on here with you. So um, Paul was like the the mutual friend between uh, Dano and there was another another friend of his, Mike, also. Oh, uh, Nemo. Uh, I Mike, a long hair, beard. Yeah, yeah Nemo. Like, yeah, yeah. So, so Dano. Now it's funny because we taped an episode of Jofo in the Ring where we had Devon Dudley on the show. You know what happened with Devon and, and Dano at, at, the, is, at the Bell Center? This, yeah. is, this is where I'm going with this. This is where I'm going because you you were on the episode with me, right? No, no, it was Kyle. You were. Kyle. Did you? Did, okay, so dude, Devon was gonna kill him. Yeah, please t- <laughs> tell us the story. Okay, yeah. so it was a it was a, a house show. So I, I think for the people who don't understand, a house show is, um, they do a show at an arena like normal, non-tele- but it's non-televised, yeah. but they're still there. Yeah. Dano, and I was supposed to go and I didn't go. It's so funny. He's like, I have extra ticket. Come with me. And I was doing something. I was like, I can't go. During a match that Devon was wrestling, <laughs> Dano was yelling and making fun of him for the entire of the match to the point where during the match, he turned around to look at him, to ask him to stop or whatever, and Dino told him, fuck you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it went crazy. So, the, so this wrestler's taking all this shit, okay. The event is over. Dino's downtown outside somewhere. Who's walking by? Fucking Devon Dudley. Oh my what God. does Dano do? Start shit with him again. Now Devon, there was a picture back in the day, this is when websites, Wrestling Websites first started. There was a face-to-face photo of Devon and him. Dano used to work at a building a block away from here. He had gotten hit by a car. So he had a lot of back, because Dano wanted to be a wrestler his whole life, but he had got hit by a car and it fucked up his back. And that's when he started to give up on that dream. Okay. Devon was like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. And Dano, his, he's like, shit, I don't wanna get my ass kicked. He's like, really? <laughs> you're gonna hit a fucking guy with back problems? You're gonna look like a pussy. Oh Is that really what you're gonna do? <laughs> and Devon was like, is it worth it? I want to kill him, but is it fucking worth it? Like, cause he's like, you're gonna beat up a handicap. I think that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. You do it, and then it went around in the media. Like there was in the, in the wrestling media, in the wrestling community, there was photos online. People took little videos, wow. just whatever we had at the time, cell phones of Devon and Dan, and it caused the whole ruckus. Yeah. So, so we we had Devon. Thanks to this man, uh, he he got us Devon in an interview on the show. I, I like Devon. I conducted the interview along with uh, Kyle. And at one point in the interview, because I knew of this story, because like, you know, I know these guys. So when when I had him on, I said, I want to ask you about, uh, you know, you have any memories of Montreal, that kind of thing. And he's, you know, went into some other stories, some lighthearted stories. And I said, there was one incident I remember from a house show where you got into it with the guy and I bring up the whole story to him and he kind of. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, okay. Because I, I remember, because I remember going online. At, well, first of all, I saw it. I wasn't even sitting that far from him. He, he had good seats. He was like right up at the front almost. He was maybe front first yeah, or second yeah. row. And I saw when Devon and him had the altercation, I was like at the entrance way, uh, more or less like, uh, I'd say maybe like fifth or sixth row, but right like on the entrance where they came out. And um, I remember seeing that. And then afterwards, I wasn't there at, at the parking lot, but uh, I went online and there was like Devon fan altercation. <laughs> I, I clicked on the link and I see this picture. And I mean, I, I don't know if we can still find it online. I kind of tried to find it before the interview, but I swear like the picture, it was almost like Devon had him by like his yeah, collar. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, right she was about to, yeah. And it looked bad. And I remember that, you know, we would get shows maybe every like, uh, you know, four or five months, maybe twice a year at the next show. I was hanging out in the in the the at the parking lot because he was one of the guys that was always there early trying to meet the wrestlers and yeah. stuff. And we were talking about it, and he's like, "Oh, you notice uh, the Dudleys are gone now? <laughs> you notice they got they got fired? <laughs> he's like, they got fired because oh of me." And, and and crazily enough, I saw a shoot interview with uh, with the Dudleys with both of them, like right after they had jumped to, to TNA and they became Team 3D, and they were like, "What uh, what led to your departure?" And the answer they gave was, "Oh, well, you know, the they didn't protect us. Something happened." And the office didn't protect us and they, they had to let us go. So I really think wow. to this day, to this day, wow. the story never came out. I yeah. really think. Yeah, Dano got him fired. Dano ended wow. up getting him fired. The, and yeah. I'm going to say something on record. And I got you guys both over here. I'm going to say this on record. And I know that we were hanging out on Sunday. It was 100% his fault. And he deserved to get his ass kicked. And he knows it because he started it, right? He started. It was 100% his fault. And it's kind of funny that the Dudleys 
had that situation happen and they had to leave the organization when it was 100% him being an asshole that That's caused crazy, this. Man. Well, the story I remember, because I think <laughs> he even like gave some quotes and stuff and he had said like, oh, you know, he I, he injured my back. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Have, I have damage to my disc. Yeah, yeah. The, that'll blamed him <laughs> he, for the he, back he injury. He like embellished, yeah. he, he embellished what happened. <laughs> I want to meet this guy. No, we, we wanted to get him in an interview. We wanted to get him to respond to it. And I was going to actually try to track him down. Because oh, throw me. Yeah, I'll give you his number. Yeah. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind <laughs> having a him small in. world there. Yeah. Small yeah. world. But I know all those people. I was one of those fans at the parking lot of the Bell Center for all the events that would come here. I'd get there at like seven, eight in the morning. Oh, I'd want to meet everyone. I'd see Vince drive. I'd get there before Vince freaking McMahon. I never and, got to meet Vince, oh, but I've met Jeff Hardy, and, Hogan. And Dano, Dano jumped on Vince McMahon's limo too. He <laughs> did jump on a limo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, you don't understand. Poseidon, I know you're over there. You're trying to produce the fuck out of this. However, I'm telling you. Oh no! Wait, wait. Did, Go did say you? that. Say that into the mic. I found the image of Dano and Devon Dudley. <laughs> I'm sending it to you right now. Send it to me, and I'm gonna. So when people see this, I'm gonna put it on screen. Oh, yeah. It's definitely we, we, worth we it. We gotta get. We gotta get it to Bruno for our episode yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, it wow. was. And I remember the time I was like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "Yeah." And then uh, you know he was gonna beat the shit out of me. Yeah. So I told him, you know, "Hey, do you really want to mess with me? I have you know back problems." Nah, nah, nah. And then he pushed me, so my disc is <laughs> fucked up. And I told the WWE, I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah, he got him fired. I, I, I mean, th th this guy, I, he'd be worth an interview. This is it. This was the photo. Here That's you go. Crazy. That guy. Yeah, wrestleview.com. Look at that. That was it. <laughs> that was Dano. Yeah, <laughs> dude, with his, with, with his leather jacket, and it's crazy because looking back at it now, I didn't realize how much, like, power some a fan that claims he's injured could have over someone's career because yeah. he sideswiped the Dudley Boys. Yeah, Literally. and I like the Dudley Boys. We all love the Dudley oh, yeah. Boys. Oh yeah, God, it, it, it's it's great. And this predates like this predates TMZ. This predates yeah. uh, like like Twitter even. Yep. This, like this must have been. I can tell you the exact. This was like 2004. I want to say or 2004, 2005. I'm yeah, pretty, yeah, this was a confident. long, long time ago. Like it predates all that stuff. And this was I remember the picture, the story, and in bad publicity. And I'm I'm. Pretty sure that's what led to them being released, and it sucks because those are two nice guys, the Dudleys. Two, two. They've both been very yeah. kind to me in all my dealings with them. Uh, I like listening to them talk. Like even Bubba has a show on Sirius. Yeah, yeah. I like listening to him. 